When you hear the term AI or artificial intelligence, for many of us, we think that there's no place for it in traditional learning, or there's no place for it in studying religious knowledge. And I think that connotation exists because, of course, we don't want to get our fatawa from other than the scholars, but actually in the context of tools, AI can support us in the traditional learning process. So I'm making this video of three AI tools that can help the student of knowledge. So let's get stuck in. The first tool I want to show you is called Google Notebook LM. So just Google Google Notebook LM and you want to click new notebook. And the reason I think this tool is so great is because what it can do is you can basically, when you go to the masjid for a class uh, and you have uh, recorded a voice memo of the class or you've taken notes from the class which of course we should do you can take a picture of those notes basically anything at all you can upload onto notebook lm and it can create you some q and a's for you to test yourself later so let's see it in action so uh, for the sake of this discussion we'll just grab a lecture on youtube of youtube so this is a lecture by sheikh muhammad tim humble called do you know allah by the way you can even po paste in youtube videos but let's say for example so let's paste this in that's added a source, right? That's added it as a source, right? And you can already see instantly, it's given us a summary of the video. Um, it's given us an FAQ. We can generate a study guide, um, a table of contents, a briefing doc, um, and even generates a podcast uh, of two AI hosts basically speaking about what was discussed. Now, this is just one source. You can add multiple sources you can add multiple sources. So this could be one of the things that you add. Then you could add your, a picture of your notes. You could add a bunch of text. Uh, you can add pretty much anything uh, as a source and it will do a great job at basically compiling them and then giving you, for example, a list of 10 questions and their answers from that source. So you can see here, there's questions that is taken from the lecture. Like, why do, how can a person seek forgiveness for sins they do not remember committing? And then the answer, one can seek forgiveness for forgotten sins through general supplications, asking Allah to forgive the past, present and future sins, and those committed knowingly and unknowingly in secret and in public. Um, and then it gives you a glossary of terms. So what do these terms mean? Tasawwuf, for example, purification of the soul. Istighfar, seeking forgiveness from Allah. Rab, Lord. And... It gives us a briefing doc, so what was discussed in the lecture. The beautiful thing is that it's only taking the information from the source. So it's not going to be using AI to all of a sudden find a new answer uh, for a question that it's asking. It's taking the questions and answers from the source. So provided you're going to a legitimate source or a legitimate class, um, it's going to take the knowledge from there. The great thing about Google Notebook LM is that it even works in the Arabic language. So you can upload the audio of a class in Arabic and it will generate you in English questions and answers or a briefing doc and stuff like that. So it's really incredible uh, to help you organize your notes. The second tool is called Descript. Descript is for me just a go-to tool for absolutely everything. So Descript is a software that transcribes any audio or video into text. Now, I think that's so important because as soon as you get a piece of audio or video into text, you can do so much more with it. It's now in front of you, it's almost tangible. Sorry about the broken finger that you can see on the screen. Okay, um, so, but it kind of adds some clarity. Let's go to Descript and upload a video. So I'm gonna upload a random video of, okay, so this is a video that we shot with Ustad Abdul Ahad where he talks about four lessons that he learned during his memorization journey. But you could, for example, upload uh, a video of a lecture or an audio recording of a one-on-one -on -one class that you had with a teacher. Pretty much, just basically anything. And once you have that, you can basically copy all of that information and then head over to ChatGPT and say, here is a transcript of a um, you know class that I was in, um, uh, have a read of it below, and then I'll ask you. Sorry about my typ typos because, as I said, broken finger. Um, I'll ask you um, have a read of it below, and then I'll ask you some questions uh, based off of it colon paste that transcript in um and now you basically create this new chat gpt thread where you're going to be speaking to uh the information right and so you can say hey firstly um give me a summary uh of what was discussed and then you can get a summary of what was discussed in this class four key lessons about memorizing were shared the speaker emphasized the importance of these four things but then you can also say okay 
explain the overall concept to me from a first principles see that see with the typing first principles uh perspective as if i'm 10 years old right oh, there's so many typing errors but guess what chat gpt understands it because of ai yeah so i said all right it's, so here's what it said it says all right, imagine you're trying to build a giant Lego castle piece by piece. Now, building this castle is like memorizing something big like the Quran. Here's how these four lessons work from the ground up. One, don't compare. Imagine you and your friend are both building different Lego castles. Your friend might have your friend might have started before you or maybe they've or maybe they have different pieces. If you keep looking at their castle, it might make you feel frustrated or slow. But if you focus on your own castle, you'll feel happier and can build at your own pace, piece by piece. So don't worry about others, just keep working on yours. So the point I'm making here is that you can take something, you know, often when I was in like even university lectures, sometimes I'd be like, I need that explained to me with some metaphors or in another way or some quotes. And um, I wish I could just, have it explained in different ways or or there'd be parts of the class where i'd be too embarrassed to say but i just want to understand it from a bit more of a basic principle that's what you can do when you use descript and you turn something into text and you paste it in chat gpt you can start talking to it and again this is not to like take for tower from it or to in any way get your knowledge from it but actually it's like hey some of these concepts i just want to understand this a bit more or um can you list me out uh, all of the key terms mentioned um, here that I might need to go away and research later and it will just give you a list of all the key terms. Hey, can you put that in a table for me? Um, and stuff like that. So that's number two is like a mix between Descript and ChatGPT. And finally, number three, of course, is Tertil AI. So Tertil AI can help you memorize the Quran and it is just incredible. We're basically at 10 million users now with Tertil AI and it's an app that allows you to blank out the pages of the Quran and then recite and as you recite it fills in the verses while you're reciting but it does so much more. It uses AI to detect whether you make a mistake so it listens to your recitation and in real time if you make a mistake like you say the wrong word or you miss a word um, or you say an extra word it will detect it, it will flag it in red and it will let you know that you've made a mistake. It will then store all of your most common mistakes and it will color code them. Like, you know, when you read to a teacher and then he highlights with a pencil, like your most common mistakes, this does that using its algorithm. Um, but also it allows you to like, let's say for example, you're reciting to somebody and you're like, oh, um, I just can't remember the next word. Can you tell me the next word? It does that with a feature called peaking. So you can peak on the next word rather than like looking at the whole thing. Um, so Tertil AI is incredible. Over 10 million people are, are, have downloaded it. And I've had such great feedback. Like people tell me that they use it daily um, to revise their hift or people who are just memorizing one more ayah or one more surah. It's helped me as well, but just incredible stuff. Um, so you can download Tertil by going by searching Tertil on your app stores. And so that is something that I would very much recommend. And so there you have it. Three AI tools that can help you as a student of knowledge. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and let us know in the comments below. And let us know what kind of tools do you use when it comes to deepening your faith.